everybody. So last week we were talking about how to start a WordPress site. So I thought I would take you behind the scenes and doing an actual post on WordPress and I'm using a builder called Elementor. I've, I've used other builders before and when we get into this, you'll see what I mean by a website builder so that I don't have to know code because I think we're all, well, I mean, unless you're actually a, a website developer, we're all a little bit scared about code. So here's a way to create posts without having to know any code at all. And so I'm, I'm really liking this Elementor. It's a little bit new to me, but uh, let's go ahead and not head on over to the computer and we'll take a look at how it works. So here we are, we're on the computer. This is the back end of my WordPress site here. And we've just started a new post. So at the top here you see posts and I've added new and I have the title in here. And if we scroll down on the right hand side, we have an option for what, uh, what template we wanna use. Must be down here, there we go. And we're just gonna use the default template for my blog right here. And I'm going to click on this big blue button right here that says edit with Elementor. Now the cool thing about using Elementor is we get to see what our post looks like on the website. So this is the whole rest of my website here and we're going to start creating the post and we're going to use these little blocks right here on the left hand side. Now these are the basic ones and you can use the Elementor basic. I also have the pro version so if I wanted to do some, some things that are slightly more complicated I certainly could. So I'm going to start off with any of these. I just drag the little, they're called widgets, I just drag them over here. So here I'm just going to go ahead and put in a little bit of text. Now I can edit this text right here on the left hand side. So I've got a, a little blurb that I've put together because nobody wants to watch me type. And so I'm going to paste this in here and there we go. So here's the little the little intro to my post. It's about a book review. And next, I wanna go ahead and insert the video that I did for this post. So on the left-hand side here, I can just click on this button here with the little nine blocks, and I can drag in a video option. There it is. And I'm just gonna drag that into this little widget right here. Now it's gonna ask me for the link to my YouTube video and so I'm gonna drop that in. Otherwise it just comes in with this like default uh, video thing right here. And so I'm gonna drop that in and it's going to bring in my video. Now I have a few different options here. If I wanted to start or end it at different times and I just leave all of this as the default and just leave it so that it'll show up as a YouTube video. So if a person wanted to click on the YouTube icon, they could and they could actually watch the rest over on YouTube if that's what they wanted to do. Uh, but these, that's why I have the showing the player controls. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and add some more text here. So again, with my nine little squares, and I'm just gonna drag in some text right here. And I've got some text already worked out that I'm gonna drop in here, just like this. Now, we might wanna do something a little more interesting. So I, I wanted to put in a couple of quotes from the book, and I'm gonna do that with another Elementor tool here. Actually, I'm gonna add another little section of text here. And then now I'm gonna go back and then up here, we don't see anything that says anything about a quote, but down here in this next section, we'll find a quote in here someplace. There we go. So we've got a block quote, and I'm gonna drag that over to here. So here I can have a quote and I can have some different styles. And these are, this is going to be sections from the book. So they're really not quotes by me, but I'm gonna put this section in from the book that I really liked and I could put the author in and maybe I put in The Alchemist. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, the book title and the name of the author here. And you can see I'm typing in the left-hand side, but it's showing up right here, like as in our, from our website right here. And we have different options on this. So for the quote itself, it's, this is the skin, it says it's a border. We can change the different styles. So we could make it like that, like a quotation. We can do it boxed where it would be a slightly different color or we could do it clean 
just like that. I kind of like that border one that we started off with. And then here we've got the option if somebody wants to tweet that and we can turn that on or off. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off for this particular one. It's not really a tweetable, I mean, I guess it could be, but it wouldn't have to be. And let's just, um, I'm not gonna finish this whole post, but I just wanna show off some of the other sections. So we could put in a heading, maybe we've got another section that we wanna talk about, or we have a longer blog post that we wanna do separate sections in. You can also add an image, or I like to add buttons sometimes. Maybe I can say, you know, click on this button to do kind of whatever. And my particular theme has different colors for these. Um, I tend to like this like reddish orange. I can also decide if I want it centered. And then this is where the link would go to right here. Um, some other items on here, we could put a spacer in if we wanted to space some different things here. Like obviously it's just adding extra space in there. So that's totally fine. Um, other items include icons. And there's a whole icon library that you can go into. So we can click on icon library and we've got all of these different icons that we can choose from. So maybe I wanna, I've got a little space rocket here and I wanna insert that. Um, and I could do multiples of any of these. Oh, in fact, that's another thing. We can add multiple items in here. So if I go in here and maybe I wanna do um, more than one icon, Let's go ahead and we will add that, or we can do it as templates. So lots to do here. And I guess this would stack them just like that. So lots of different options in here. If we go global or elements and, oh, here we go, intersection. This is what I was looking for. So if I wanted to have multiple columns, then in here, then I could do the icons that would be um, next to each other, just like that. And then to delete any of these, maybe on this one, I wanna just go ahead and delete it. Then I can just go ahead and push the delete key on my keyboard. And I, that was that's gonna delete that particular section. So if I was like, oh yeah, instead of having stacked icons, I wanna go ahead and have them next to each other, this would be a way to do that. And then more of these here, we've got a portfolio, which is going to be a bunch of pictures, posts, slides. We can do logins. You can get pretty complicated with this. Price list, I've never tried this one out, but this might be kind of fun. Oh, hey, this would be great if you're building, especially for like a restaurant website, and you wanted to be able to put your menu. So here you'd have your menu item and the price and then the description of the item. I can see where that would be very val valuable right there. Oh, uh, let's see, check out some of these other ones here. Media carousels, share buttons, Facebook buttons. Uh, image box, that's another good one that could be used where you put in um, an image right here with we've got a heading and you've got the text and it's all built into this whole little box right here that makes it really simple. So those are just a few of the things that you can do with Elementor. As you saw, I didn't know, need to know any code at all in order to be able to put all of these different elements into a post. Obviously, I'm gonna delete most of what we just experimented with there, but at the same time, just to show you that it's fun to experiment and to try new things and, and just try to find a way to, to be more creative and to continue to do better things and, and learn more. So that is using Elementor with a WordPress site. And I hope you enjoyed this video. You can also backtrack and see about what it takes to start a WordPress site. I've got that video here. And then hit that subscribe button to see other videos from my channel as I post them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.